Hello and uh, welcome to the last video of this amazing series of land string manipulation by building a cipher. So in this video we are going to cover step number 801 all through step number 95 which is the last step. And uh, basically now we are in the step where we are going to finalize our code and bring our cipher into functionality. So let's get started with step number 801. And it reads modify your comment into append any other letter character to the message so uh, in this step number 81 we are supposed to modify the comment that is in line number 10 so for ease we are going to copy this and we are going to paste it and replace the existing comment here and run our code to see if everything passes correctly and it does and we proceed to the next step which is step number 82 the pass keyword can be used as a placeholder for future code. It does not have any effect in your code, but it can save you from errors you will get in case of incomplete code. So call the function with one to encrypt and negative one to decrypt is fine, but not to decrypt is fine, but it might be a little bit cryptic. Create a new function called encrypt that takes message and key parameters and use the pass to fill the function body. So uh, we are required to create a new function and uh, we are going to create the function on line number 26. And uh, remember creating function is preceded by the word def followed by the function name. In this case it is encrypt. And uh, the parameters that we are supposed to pass in here are message and key and in the body of our function we are supposed to have pass as our body and uh, that will be all for this so let's check our code to be sure it passes correctly and uh, it seems there is an error so let's uh, read on that your encrypt function should take message and key as parameters the order matters so so uh, let's uh, check the, on this again. So we are supposed to have a function called encrypt that takes message. Uh, so the error is in the spelling of the word message. So let's check the code again and it passes. So let's proceed to the next stage. Step number 83 reads, delete the pass keyword and return these from the new function. So uh, we are supposed to get rid of the word keyword and uh, replace it with the function name of the other function uh, with the two parameters that we passed in and uh, let's check on that and be sure it passes correctly so so it's supposed to return these and uh, as you can see that passes correctly so let's proceed to the next step and that is step number 84 define another function called decrypt so we are supposed to define another function called decrypt and remember dev followed by the function name And uh, with the same parameters as encrypt, uh, inside the brackets, we pass in message and key as our parameters. And inside the body, we return the same message as our encrypt function. So let's do that. Uh, we are supposed to create a function called decrypt and pass in the same parameters as our encrypt message. And in our return function, you are supposed to return the same message as the encrypt message, uh, but uh, this time with an addition of negative one. And uh, let's check our code to be sure everything passes correctly, which it does. And uh, we proceed to the next step, which is number 85, which reads, next, modify your encryption and decryption variables by calling encrypt and decrypt respectively in place of these. So uh, inside of our variables, that is encryption and decryption, uh, we are supposed to modify them by calling encrypt and decrypt uh, in, in place.
place of these word here so uh, I think uh, we are going to replace here with encrypt and uh, the same will be done for the decrypt function so we are going to replace it here with and with decrypt decrypt and uh, let's check our code to be sure everything passes correctly and uh, as you can see uh, that passes correctly so we proceed to the next step and uh, that is step number 586 yeah and uh, it works now you're going to start with an encrypted message to be decrypted so change the value of text to string mr is so we are supposed to change the value of text into this uh, uh, string of characters given here so we are going to replace this one with the new one that has been provided for us and uh, check our code uh, and it passes we proceed to the next step which is step number eight or seven and it reads since this time you are starting from an encrypted string to decrypt you won't need encryption variable anymore so i uh, delete encryption and the print encryption call also comment out the last two lines of your code so uh we're supposed to delete this line here the print encryption and also delete this line here and comment out the last two lines and uh, remember comments in python are done using the ash symbol so let's check our code and uh, it passes so we proceed to the next step which is step number 88 and it reads two or more strings can be concatenated by using the plus operator for example hello plus there will result to hello there so call the print function and use the plus operator to concatenate the text variable to the string encrypted text pay attention to the spacing so uh, we are supposed to call a print function here and inside the brackets uh, we are going to call text and plus uh, this encrypted text here so we are going to get this and paste it in here And uh, uh, they say we should be careful with the spaces. And uh, now let's check our code and uh, to see if it passes. And you can see from our console on the right here, we are able to get the, the encrypted text that we passed in uh, earlier uh, in the beginning of our code that we just replaced. And now we are able to see it on our output here. So let's check the code to be sure it passes correctly. And it does. So we proceed to the next step which is a uh, step number 89 and it reads below the print call you just added add another print call to print key python by concatenating the string key and the value of the custom key so uh, we are going to add another print call and inside here we are going to call um, custom key and we are going to concatenate it with the key uh, the name key which will be at the beginning of the call followed by the plus symbol and the custom key word and uh, now as you can see uh, we are able to get uh, a message also here which says that the key is equals to python as well as the encrypted text is equals to the series of strings that i was passed earlier and uh, we proceed to the next step which is a uh, step number 90 in python there is a way to easily format strings f strings enables you to interpret values in your strings interpolation means writing placeholders that will be replaced by the specified values when the program runs for example you can get the same result of encrypted text plus text with f encrypted text text you need to put an f before the quotes to create the f string and write the variables or expression 
you want to interpolate between the curly braces. So modify the first print call using an F string. And uh, for this, uh, we are going to have an F at the beginning here. And uh, followed by encrypted text. And uh, inside here, uh, we are going to replace these with the curly braces. And uh, uh, this should be that. And uh, uh, we are going to format this in a correct way. And uh, that should be it. F encrypted text is equals to this. And I get rid of this here. And uh, these we should have uh, the closing quote at the end here. And uh, that seems to be correct. So let's check our code to be sure it passes correctly, which it does. And uh, we proceed to the next step, which is uh, step number 91. Which reads, uh, now uh, we should also modify the print key, custom key, and uh, make it use the F string. So uh, we are going to have an F here. I get rid of this plus sign here, replace it with some curly braces, and uh, also close these with another closing quotation, and uh, get rid of this quotation one mark here, and uh, the output uh, remains the same as we had earlier, so we proceed to the next step, which is our step number 92. Which reads, uh, the new line character slash n is a special sequence used to represent a new line. You can write a backslash followed by an n as normal sequence of characters in a string and it will be replaced by a new line in the output when the program runs. So put a new line character at the beginning of the first print character and see the output. So we should have um, a new line character here at the beginning. So Let's do that. Um, the new line character should be inside uh, the F string. And uh, as you can see, uh, um, uh, the, from the output, uh, the text has been pushed to a new line. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the text without uh, the new line character. And this is the text with the new line character. So let's check our code and proceed to the next step. And uh, for step number 93, uh, and comment the decryption variable and change its value by passing text as the first argument to decrypt. So we are going to uncomment these and we are going to pass in text as the first argument. Uh, so uh, replace this uh, text. And uh, let's uh, check this and uh, see if the code passes and it, it does so we proceed to the next step which is a uh, step number 94 which reads and comment your last print call and uh, change its use to f string uh, so this is how it's supposed to be so um, we are going to take this this is the argument we are going to pass in and uh, i'm going to uncomment this and inside the here, we are going to replace this with an F string or with this argument that has been given in the instruction. So I'm going to replace that. And as you can see from our output, we also get the output printed in a new line. And uh, basically, it gives us the decrypted text. And uh, let's check our code. And it passes correctly. So we proceed to the next step, which is uh, our last step in this case, and uh, it's step number 95, and it reads, wait a minute, you cannot decrypt anything with the wrong key. Try with happy coding. With that, your cipher project is complete. So from step number 95, it is saying that uh, we cannot decrypt anything with the wrong key. So uh, let's try happy coding and in our custom key uh, here, we are going to replace it with happy coding. And uh, as you can see from the output, we get an output which says free code camp is awesome. And uh, basically that's what uh, this message that has been decrypted here means. And uh, with that, uh, that marks the end of our coding and uh, that is it when it comes to building a cipher with python so these few simple steps uh, we were able to come up with our cipher program and uh, 
that is it for this particular code so thank you and uh, see you in the next challenge that we will be taking and uh, for this we are going to submit and proceed to the next one so see you